the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Together we thank the Lord for His goodness and kindness. To prepare ourselves in this mystery, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for forgiveness. I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally the son of the freeborn drew a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Agar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren who are born no children. Break forth and shout, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun, is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is His glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? 
He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill, He lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to Monsignor Rolly, our dedicated rector of the Manila Cathedral, and to Father Piel, Vice Rector, for their continuous guidance and service. We are also deeply thankful to everyone who helped organize the visit of our patron. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Malipangpang, whom we called Apo Sayong, here at the Manila Cathedral. Today in our readings, there are two points I would like to share. First, St. Paul reminds us that we are children of God. Tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. Bakit tayo naging anak ng Diyos? St. Paul declared it is because of Christ. Ang nasa isip ni St. Paul ay walang iba kundi ipakilala si Christ. Ang nasa puso ni St. Paul ay walang iba kundi ipakilala si Christ. At St. Paul tells us to live out our identity as children of God. Pinakita sa atin ni St. Paul as children of God, isang paraan para pagpapakita nito is to be united with Christ. Pinasabi sa atin, kapag tayo ay nakikiisa kay Kristo, tayo ay nagiging mabuting Kristiyano. Kapag tayo nakikiisa kay Kristo, tayo ay nagiging masahi, masayahing kristyano. Kapag tayo nakikisa kay Kristo, tayo ay nagiging madasaling kristyano. When we come to Christ, 
we become a joyful Christian. When we come to Christ, we become a prayerful Christian. When we come to Christ, we become a good Christian. Kaya pinapaalala sa atin ni St. Paul, pinapaalala ni St. Paul sa mga taga-Galatian to live out their identity as children of God. Second point is this. Faith is a gift. Ang pananampalataya ay regalo. At tulad ng isang regalo, ang regalo, it's either you accept or you reject. In the gospel, we heard Jesus tells the people, gathered around him. He even mentioned the name uh, Jonas and uh, what's that? Jonas and Solomon. These two people are mentioned in the Old Testament. Sila ay mga tanda ng Diyos. Solomon is sign of God in the Old Testament. But people did not listen to him. People did not accept him. Jonah is also a sign in the Old Testament. Jonah is also a sign of God. But people did not listen to him. People did not accept him. That's why walang nangyaring miracles. Sapagat hindi sila naniwala. Ang isang taong walang pananampalataya, hindi nakikita ang biyaya. Kahit ang biyaya ay nasa harap na nila, kapag walang pananampalataya, hindi pa rin nila nakikita ang biyaya. Today, we are given two important points. Pinapaalala sa atin, we are children of God. And as children of God, we are called to live out our identity. Second, we are called to accept this faith. Kapag tinatanggap natin ang pananapalatayang ito, tumagatanggap tayo ng biyaya. Today, we also remember, the church remember today St. Callistus. Pope and Martyr. Pinakita sa atin ni Saint Callistus ang kanyang pagiging masayahing Kristiano, ang kanyang pagiging butihing Kristiano, at ang kanyang pagiging madasaling Kristiano. Nakita rin natin si Pope Callistus ay isa rin deboto ng mahal na birhen. Pinakita niya at dahil sa kanyang debosyon sa mahal na birhen, ay napagtagumpayan niya ang mga pagsubok noong panahong iyon. Pinapaalala sa atin today, like Saint Callistus, Pope and Martyr, na pwede rin nating mapagtagumpayan ang ating mga pagsubok kapag tayo lalapit kay Maria. Kaya po natutuwa kami sapagkat naririto po ang aming patron, ang mahal na birin ng Santo Rosario ng Malipangpang. Dahil naniniwala kami kung paano kami ay kanyang sinasamahan. Naniniwala ako ang bawat deboto ng mahal na birin ng Santo Rosario ay kanya ring babantayan at iingatan. I just want to share a short story. During the celebration of the Blessed Mother of the Holy Rosary in Malipangpang, a little girl approached the image of the Virgin and prayed fervently. When she finished, her mother asked her, What did you ask the Blessed Virgin for? The child smiled and said, Nothing, Mama. I just thank her because she's always watching over us. 
This simple response beautiful reminded everyone present that beyond our petition, we must always give thanks to God and the Blessed Mother for their constant care. Believe na sinasamaan tayo ng birhen. Believe na inaalalayan tayo ng birhen. At believe, pinagdarasal tayo ng birhen. Please stand. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and to respond firmly to Christ's call for repentance. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hearts of all men and women may be converted to the Lord who calls the world to repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may accept the full message of the gospel, including those sayings that speak of trouble and the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our, our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Father of all, you gave us a sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your Son. As from all eternity, you will this resurrection. Associate us with him forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> Please stand. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name. For by the poor overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, with Saint Callistus and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, let us pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, I peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some words of gratitude. Sa ating Monsignor Rolly de la Cruz at sa ating Cura Paroco Padre, Cura Paroco Biel Bautista, Manila Cathedral, sa Manila Cathedral, at sa lahat ng nariritong mapagpalang araw po sa bawat isa. Sa mga alam po ng sangguniang pastoral ng parokya, ng mahal na birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Malipampang, kami po ay toos pusong nagpapasalamat sa inyong pagtanggap at pagsuporta sa pagdalaw ng aming patrona na si Apo Sayong sa inyong katedral. Nawa sa inyong pagdalangin ay marapatig dinggin at ipagkaloob ng ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng mahal na birhen ng Santo Rosario. Muli po ang aming taos-pusong pasasalamat sa bawat isa. Magsilohod po tayong lahat at dasalin po natin ang panalangin ng pamamaalam. O mahal na Birhen ng Santo Rosario, dumating na ang sandali ng iyong paglisan sa Katedral ng Maynila. Sa pananatili mo sa aming piling ay hindi kayang banggitin ang mga, ng aming mga labi ang pasasalamat na nag-uumapaw sa aming puso. O Diyok ng iyong pagmamahal, mahal na Birhen ng Santo Rosario, minarapat mong makiisa sa amin. Magbalik kang muli sa aming piling sa ibang araw. Dito ay hihintayin ka namin ng buong pananabik. Sa iyong pagpanaog, baunin mo ang aming pagmamahal, isama mo ang aming mga puso. Huwag mong itulot na kami ay makalimot at mawalay sa iyong pag-aaroga. Kailanman. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass sender, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Lapakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen.